made up by quite a few components. And one of those components is travel, and this one uh, was uh, quite the experience. It didn't let us down. Uh, but we're here in Bethel, and uh, it's a little chilly. Super excited about hunting moose. And uh, we're the last ones in the airport. Maybe uh, we'll have somebody there waiting on us. We made it here to Alaska yesterday and you know I always talk about hunting being a microcosm of life and uh, yesterday kind of hit home more so than any. We're all getting ready here in the hangar and to go out and you know it's really the luck of the draw at that point of who goes out and when and uh, they got on the plane. Uh, Jeff, one of the guides and uh, one of the pilots there, Zach. Later in the day we get the news that there's been a mid-air collision and uh, Jeff and Zach both passed away yesterday. It's a risk that you take every time you get into an airplane. It's a risk you take when you, you go on these excursions and these um, the destinations like this. But um, today we're just waiting on the planes to come in. Uh, we're going to have a little talk about what happened yesterday, try to get everyone back on track. Middle of the day, day one, kind of have a lull in the action. Temperature's still a little cool, but the wind's blowing about 40 miles an hour. I've seen one moose early this morning. Still, strangely enough, there's just bears everywhere. We've been covered up with them. Probably saw about 20 black bears so far. We've had two grizzly bears within 150 or 200 yards from us earlier this morning. And I think they're just over this ridge here. So hopefully later this afternoon when it cools down, these moose start moving around. They're really big animals. You think you can see them so easy in this stuff, but without them moving, there's just no way we can see them. So. miles and you can obviously tell it's a huge moose. I mean it's my third bull to see in my entire life so I'm not that great of a judge but it's pretty exciting to see a, a moose that size that it's unbelievable.
we've spotted the bull. It's the one we saw from yesterday. So we're just trying to make a game plan. He responded to the call and he's coming in. So we're fixing to make a game plan. Hopefully we get a chance to get a shot at this bull. Steady 400 yard shot I've ever made. There's my moose right there. It's about 150 yards away from getting my hands on it. Well, this is the culmination of an incredible experience with Renfro's Alaskan Adventures. This was unbelievable. And it's, you know, it's not about the kill. It's, it's not about being able to, to harvest an animal like this. It, it is about the experience. And I mean, this is obviously icing on the cake and it's a loss for words for one of the few times in my life. Hey buddy, I wanted to tell you first, I just shot a big old moose. He said, you coming home now? Oh. That's awesome.